Okay, we're rolling. I want to take an opportunity to thank you for being here with me today, Peter. Uh, my name is Paige Frankfurt. Just a few things I want to go over before we begin. As a regulated healthcare professional governed by the Mental Health Act, um, I will keep your confidentiality. There are only a few instances in which confidentiality has to be breached. The first, if you are in any imminent danger uh, or a risk of harming yourself or others. The second, if you are a child, which you are not, or know of a child who is in need of protection. The third, if you report any sexual abuse by a regulated health professional. And the fourth would be pursuant to a subpoena. If I am subpoenaed, there is a court order or a sworn testimony. The fifth, which is recently being added in, is that of elder abuse, if you're aware of any elder abuse that is happening. Any questions on that? No, it makes sense. Okay, thank you for joining me today, Peter. No problem. What brings you here? I have a lot of issues. <laughs> okay. Like, um, so for the past four years or so, I've been struggling with a lot of mental health issues, which has caused some, you know, drug issues that kind of took over too. It all started when I was 16 and I got kicked out. So my parents couldn't handle it anymore. And I've just been kind of all over the place, you know, on couches and shelters and stuff. And, um, Sometimes when I get to friends, I'm able to kind of get it together and then stress, you know, stressful things come and go. And then, you know, next thing I know, I'm right back at it again. So, okay. It's been, uh, it's been a long few years now. It sounds like it would be a long few years. So you've been on your own essentially since you were 16. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I have a brother and a sister, but, um, there's not too much contact and the parents pretty much disowned me when I, when I was kicked out, so there's nothing really going on there. Okay. Would you like to have more contact with your siblings? Yes. Yes, that's something I would really love, yes. Um, uh, Joan, my younger sister, it would be nice to be able to do something with her, you know, have some kind of um, communication. You know, I was a little bit older than her. I wasn't much of a big brother, but it's kind of sad that now... No, I'm not around or anything. And uh, and then I have an older brother, Jeff. That would be, uh, we used to always get along. So that was, that really sucked when I got kicked out. And it's been a long four years, not seeing him too much either. And then parents, it's pretty much, uh, pretty much no communication. Is that something that you would want to explore in the future or that's? Uh, I think there's, there's too much there. They, uh, Definitely not too happy with me. There's a lot of issues. That would be a lot harder. And I, don't, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know where to start with the parents, really. Um, I would like to, yes. But uh, I think that would be harder than this, my siblings. Okay. Why do you feel that would be so hard as opposed to your siblings? Well, because it's the parents, really, right, that I hurt and caused so many issues for. And now they uh, they just had enough. You know, and they knew when I, while I was gone, I was still going through these things and I haven't really changed all that much. I mean, the only, there is one good thing. I've kind of completed some education through online when at friends' houses and things like that, but um, I'm proud of that, but I don't know if that's enough to really impress them. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Well, you think so? I can only imagine how difficult that would be moving oh, around and still. So difficult. I think that's something you should be very proud of. Thank you. Yes, definitely. Um. It's very impressive. It was definitely very hard, and I really worked hard at it, and uh, I'm pretty pleased with that. I mean, I still got a long way to go, but... Well, it sounds like you did a wonderful job. You completed it. Yeah. No, that's true. Um, it'd be nice to go all the way and do the grade 12, too, but... Yeah. Well, it's That's a, another thing. It's a wonderful example of something you put your mind to and you completed. Oh, thank you. Yes. Very proud of that. And I'm sure at the time that's something that seemed um, quite large and insurmountable as well. Am I right? Oh yeah, it was quite hard, especially you know moving around all the time, mm -hmm. trying to get on and, and just finding time to study, you know, and get all these uh, courses done and assignments. It was not uh, not my thing. But you did it. I did do and it. And that shows you that you're quite capable. Yes. Beautiful. So maybe I should try and do some more. That'd be great. Sometimes the stress is kind of overwhelming, though. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. well, it makes it, sounds, it really quite, quite difficult. It sounds like you have a lot of stressors. Um, 
based on what you've told me thus far, you left at 16. It sounds like there was quite the fallout with your parents. Um, you don't have a ton of communication with your siblings and you go back and forth between your friends' houses, etc. So it sounds like a lot of stressors. Um, are you doing anything in your life to manage those? No, not at all. That's why I always fall back to the drugs so much sometimes. And that really, I really try not to, but it always seems to come up, you know. There's just so much going on and it's so difficult. Mm -hmm. I can um, understand that. I, um, when I was younger, I used to be able to do things. Like I liked music when I was younger. Mm -hmm. And I was, if I say so myself, pretty good guitar player, but I haven't. I haven't touched it in years. Okay. And it used to be pretty helpful, I and guess. And why do you think you haven't played the guitar? Again, just uh, just the moving around. It's hard to keep, you know, possessions and things like that going around. Um, I don't know. It's just been so long. But I, I know I really enjoyed it. And it used to help me a lot, especially with stress. So it's a good, it's a good like, vent for me, you know? It's a release. Yes, a release. Thank you. I can understand that. So you've mentioned, um, you're very open, so I thank you for that. You're very welcome. You've mentioned quite a few things that you would, um, sounds like you would be willing to make some changes. You want some changes in your life. You mentioned contact with your siblings. You mentioned moving forward in your education. Um, you mentioned getting back into your musicality and stuff like that. Uh, what do you think for you would be the priority? What do you think has the most allure? To you. The most allure. Hmm. Mm -hmm. If you had to choose one to focus on at this time, what would you choose? They're all wonderful things. But if you had to start with just one. Maybe um, uh, the siblings. Be nice to get back into their lives. So I know they're, you know, interested. It's just hard to keep keep in touch, you know. But yeah, that would be very nice. And it might, you know, even help with, along with the parents down the road, you know. Mm-hmm. I can understand. Yeah, that would be really, really good. So that's so your I, priority to get yeah, back Yeah, so I really miss them, you know. I can only imagine what that must be like. On a 1 to 10, how confident are you that you could make this change, this change towards mm. moving back towards a relationship? Let's see, that's a great question. Um, well, I didn't know I could do the schooling. That was really hard. Mm. And uh, quite proud of that. Remember, you accomplished that. I did, I did. Yes, thank you. I did. So, I guess I feel a lot of stress in thinking about it, mm -hmm. that I would trying to, you know, reach out to them and get back in it with them. Why does that make you feel stressed? I don't know, maybe just the, um, am I going to fall apart again? Am I going to, you know, go back into the drugs when, you know, trying to meet up with them, trying to get with them, and I'm hanging out with them, I don't want to be high or anything like that and and then scare them off again you know mm -hmm. just scared of that it would be so like that would really really set me off it sounds know? like it's a self-doubt yeah yeah you could call it that I guess mm -hmm. I don't so one to ten like not very high <laughs> maybe a five or a six on a good day well a five or a six is not that yeah. low it's no. in the upper end no, I guess that's true. What would it take for you to move that five or six to a ten, Peter? Really just have a good control over my stress, I guess, and not not be afraid of falling back into the drugs and mm -hmm. ruining it ruining a second chance. I don't know how I could do that other than you know, music's really the only thing that's ever worked. So like I said, it's been so long. So you found that your music was a release or helped you from your triggers? Yes, yeah, for a long time, and uh, since it's been gone, you know, there's been a, I've had a lot of issues and problems, mm -hmm. and I filled a lot of it with uh, stress and, and drugs. So if I could get back to something like that, mm -hmm. you know, more something more positive, um, I think that would help a long way in you know getting in touch with the siblings and continuing some schooling, being able to focus and concentrate. So it sounds like music was your release. Yes. Okay. Maybe that's what it was. It was a release. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I felt like venting, you know? And I haven't done it in so long. It doesn't seem like I have 
many ways to to vent anymore. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It'd be nice to get back into that, you know. So I think the goal of making contact with your siblings is wonderful, but through that discussion uh, and hearing what you said about triggers and and worrying and stuff like that about making the contact, you've come right back to music ah. and, the, and the lack of music in your life and how that used to be um, almost like, in some ways it sounds like escapism, but in other ways it sounds like it's what kept you grounded. Does that make sense? Yeah, music's very grounding, yes, especially when you're playing. So is that something that you think you would like to explore, to go back to that? Because it sounds like you miss it. I would, yeah. Yeah, that would be a nice use of time. Like I said, trying to get with the siblings in school. But if I could really focus on music, I think that would go a long way. To get you to the point where you feel confident enough to make these other steps in your life? Yes, because I will be venting and doing all those all those things that come with, you know, playing music and, you know, sitting with a guitar and just getting through your own little thing, you know? What does that feel like for you? Oh, it feels so good, really. I mean, you can almost get lost in it. It doesn't matter what, what's going on in the world, you know? Nothing else can really affect you all that much because you're doing your thing, you're playing, you're, you're, you know, you're fiddling around, you're going through different, different emotions and, and thoughts and everything's just kind of free-flowing, you know? Um, it's hard to really be affected by anything when you're that happy. <laughs> it sounds very much like it's your element. Yes, it was my element. It'd be nice to be my element again. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to go right back to that same question, Peter. On a 1 to 10, how confident are you? How ready are you to reintegrate that music, that guitar, back into your life? That would be a much higher confidence level, yes. Maybe an eight or a nine. That's very high. <laughs> yes. It's quite the difference. I don't want to say ten, but yeah, nine maybe. A nine is yeah. very close. So a nine is not a ten. So what is the little piece of doubt? What what worries you about that? Well, you know, just not having a real solid place and moving around so much. Mm-hmm. It's uh, everyday expenses are so difficult, and to to get my hands on a a guitar that I like and to hang on to mm-hmm. could be uh, a little tricky, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm sure possible, but I haven't really, again, I haven't given it that much thought. I just know if I did have it, that would help. Have you looked into that? No, I have not, but um, I know you can pretty much always find cheap ones around. I mean, it's not unheard of to see them around, Mm -hmm. especially online and stuff. Mm -hmm. So maybe if I did, I could find something like that, yeah. Yeah, so that could be a part of your plan. Is to find Finding find time. myself a nice instrument somewhere cheap that I can work on myself and you got it. And you also told me that you finished your uh, grade eleven education online. I did. Are you thinking about perhaps finishing your grade twelve in person, or are you still going to go the online route? Um, I think online at this point. Yeah. Online. Yeah, because I did so well when I was focused in on it, mm-hmm. on the online for grade 11. And as you did it online, were you affiliated with a local high school through mm-hmm. that program? Um, yes, I never went or anything, yeah. but yeah, I was. Yeah. So I'm just asking you these questions because I'm, I'm hearing you say about your plan, how you're wanting to obtain a guitar and right. like finances are an issue and stuff like that. And I know you're saying you don't want to go physically um, in person to school for the next year. But uh, most local high schools in this area have a music program or have lots of guitars that they mm. rent out to their students. So technically, you're, you're obviously still a student, even though you have a different mode of learning. That might be an avenue for you. So you're saying I could like go into school to finish that my one last year, and I could maybe take a music program to get my instrument of that I need. That's food for thought. Or even if you were willing to um, do your your progress online and maybe just go to your music class or even speak to the music teacher, I'm sure they would work with you in regards to that. That's a great idea. I think I will try that because um, it's almost like I'm getting two things done at the same time, you know, mm-hmm. and that would help with the stress too because I'm uh, I'm still doing some online. But I'm, I'm in there. I can go do the music. That helps. 
And if they did have some kind of a rental program like that, that would be great. Yeah. Because then I can focus on that when I'm at home or hanging out or whatever. I would always have it. And um, if ever anything happened, I can just go and I could drop it off. You know, it's not mine. I don't own it. I don't have to worry about it mm -hmm. as much and yeah. things like that. So that would definitely help, I think, with the stress of you know wanting to have that release but wondering, you know, how am I going to get it? So that that's a great idea. I think it's really wonderful that through this, you're explaining how you've had these triggers and you've experienced these triggers and how you turned to music as an outlet um, and that you know yourself well enough to know that's an outlet that will still work for you. So. Yeah, I mean, I haven't forgotten it. It's just, it's been so long since I've you know, been using that outlet. But I know it's still there. And I would love it more than anything. So, and um, in terms of the stress, like it's not just fun, right? It's, it's it's almost therapeutic, you know? So that would be really great. Music if, can be so therapeutic. If I can get that through like a, like a program or whatever, like you said, that would just, I'd be over the moon, you know? Yeah, there are also other local programs if that avenue didn't work for you. Like there's Rebel Cowboy Music, which is nearby, and they do rentals as well. Really? Um, they have on-site group format lessons and stuff like that. I think once weekly they have one that's a no cost where people in the community can come in. They run about three hours in duration. So there's another idea. Yeah, it'd be nice to get a couple basic lessons just to see what I've forgotten and get back into the swing of it. Or like community. I'm thinking maybe in terms of community and some interaction with fellow musicians. Oh, like I could see... People who are like-minded, I'm struggling, I need to get into music, I'm meeting other people who are also getting into the music and trying to get lessons. And They may not have the exact same story as you, but at, at the bottom line, they would have the love of music like right. you do, right? That's, yeah, even if, if that's the very least, that's something in common. Yeah. That would be great. I really hope that uh, I can pull something like that off. I think I'm pretty confident I could. It sounds like you're really ready to make that change and have that back in your life. Yeah. Kudos to you that for would that. Be, that would be great, really. Maybe even tomorrow I'll make a few phone calls. Oh, that's very soon. Mm. The next thing I was going to ask you is if you're going to make this change in your life, what what do you think a timeline would be? But that is just very I soon. guess I can just start tomorrow, right? That's a very It's just phone time. calls, right? Yeah. You know, looking things up. I don't even have to, I don't have to go anywhere tomorrow. Definitely. I can, I can probably get all that done and feel better about it or know, you know, where I'm going or how I want to do it, or, you know, like, or even when they can see me next, you know? Mm -hmm. So that makes sense. That's really wonderful, Peter. You sound very, very ready. So I think I am ready for that. It's okay. a good start, you know? It's not too, not too stressful. And then once I get going, it'll, it'll definitely help. That's wonderful. So when did you uh, discover music? When did you discover it had that therapy effect um, for you? Well, the dad always had uh, the guitars around and there was always music playing. Oh, okay. So I would say I was like six, okay. very, very young. Yeah. Um, pretty much picked it up right away. So from six on, I was always learning and progressing mm -hmm. and getting better. It's just th through the end of the teen years that I kind of let it go. And then after everything happened and I was kicked out, it was just, it was not a priority anymore. Can or, understand that. Or so I thought. Yeah. Sounds like I kind of need it, you know? Mm -hmm. But it sounds as if, from everything you've said to me um, in the beginning, in the middle, and in the end, it sounds as if you made more uh, basic needs your priority because of what you were going through. Yeah, it was very basic. Like, even the school was like, that was a stretch sometimes to get really hunker down and get that done, you know, moving around so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But this, this seems... If I can do that, this seems possible too. And this is going to be a lot less stressful once I once I get into it. This seems like a beautiful step uh, for you to obtain. Um, yes, no, it's a great idea. I think. I think it's a beautiful step. So how are we going to promote that change for you to uh, use this as your de-stress, use this as your outlet? Well, it won't need much promotion once I get it, I can tell you that. Um, especially with all the time I have a lot. It's, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, I think. It's going to be something I'm going to look forward to, you know, throughout the days. And 
Especially Do you have that right now? Do you have something you look forward to right now? No, not at all. Just, just life's very stressful, moving around a lot, mm -hmm. trying to get stay grounded. Mm -hmm. You know, um, that's pretty much it. It's just day by day, just mm -hmm. trying to survive. So, um, the school was kind of, I guess you could say, a grounding for that for a while. Mm -hmm. Now that's done. Okay. You know, do I try the the grade twelve? Do I try the music? Yeah, I think all that's going to be very helpful. Once I get going, um, which hopefully is tomorrow, if I get enough good answers when I make some phone calls. That's wonderful to hear you say that, Peter. Sure. It sounds like you know exactly what you need at this time, um, and like you're going to make some really positive strides towards your goals. Yeah, I definitely know that this is what I need. Yep. I have no doubt. Um, it's just a matter of can I do it? You know, I'm feeling pretty confident. Okay. This is a good goal, good place to start. And if it can translate into seeing family again, then mm -hmm. that would be great. So you'll start with the music. You'll build up to the family. And who knows where you'll go from there. Hopefully some, you know, a place of my own one day. That would be great. Beautiful. Yeah. Once I'm done the schooling, mm -hmm. trying to find something to do, you know, make some money. Beautiful. That would be, uh, yeah. Start you out have a start. lot of goals. Yeah, I guess I do. But to start off small like that, that's mm -hmm. that's really what I need. And uh, mm -hmm. it's just going to help with the stress so much, you know. Because I just, wonderful. I miss it so much. That's wonderful. Do you have any other um, releases now or anything you do to help with your stress? or? Um, not so much. Just, okay. just, just like I said, just trying to survive day by day is pretty much one day at a time. Just one day at a time is yeah. is like almost like that's my thing. It's just getting through the day. That's my de-stressor. You know what? I got to the end. Okay, I'm here. <laughs> I got. I'm sleeping. I got a bed here. It was a good day. We all take things one day right. at a time, right? Yeah. No, I've tried for sure. I can understand that. This is not related to your music. This is just because I am very curious. Um, do you have a positive support network of people in your life? Very few. A lot of negatives. That's the problem. Okay. There's a lot of negative. Um, okay. There are a few, like, you know, certain counselors and stuff at some of the shelters and some friends who do help me out here and there. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'd say they're overwhelmed by the, um, the negatives, you know, the mm -hmm. people I party with and people who help me with the, the scoring and stuff like that. We we're pretty, we're pretty tight knit group of people. So, okay. and, uh, it's hard to kind of get away from that, you know, I can understand that. Are you feeling not ready, uh, to get away from that? Cause you've described people as negative or negative influences, right? Which is uh, not the most positive thing we can no, say. No, I would love to get that. away. Yeah. I just don't know how easy that's going to be. Okay. Because that's really the majority of the people, you know, that's around in, you? My, in my life, mm. you know, without, without them, yeah, there's less craziness and the, and the mm -hmm. drugs and, the, and just stuff like that, but there wouldn't be much other people. Do you think you would have anybody left? You would A have, few, yeah, yeah, here and there. Well, so what does it feel like to be around those people, those supportive people? Well, much better, obviously. I know I'm not going to get yeah. into trouble. Yeah. I know um, if things are tough, they're going to help me out in you know, a positive way. Beautiful. And I kind of like that more um, than having to rely on drugs, you know, which is really not helpful, I know. But, but it, just, it just keeps going back. You've gotten away from them, but you're, you're feeling pulled back in. Oh, yeah. I'm always pulled for four years now. It's just... Okay. You get, you get a little bit better, you're focusing on your schooling, you're hanging mm -hmm. out with people who care about you, and mm -hmm. then and you're, pulled, you're pulled back in, when I, when I, especially when I'm stressed, right? So this is why you, the music is such a giant goal for you. because It's it a was, big goal. If I can stay away from that stuff. It's something for you to run towards um, yeah. as opposed to trying to run away from drugs. Yeah. It would be nice to run towards music. I can understand that. Well, so what do you think that your life... Um, would look like what's your life going to feel like when you have music back in your life and it's an everyday staple for you if i ask you what do you think it would feel like what does that look like to you more full yeah more fulfilling you know um definitely not as uh, not as stressful i could i think uh 
easier to get through things having that, that vent, you know, mm -hmm. um, and that's really what I need. So life would, would be really good. Like not perfect, you know, but, but better and a lot better. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and then when it's better, hopefully less stress along with that. Beautiful. And now I'm going to ask you the opposite. What does, you, what will your life feel like or look like if you don't make this change? Just continue to be like and hang out with these people that aren't helpful and, you know, do make, add stress and trouble and, you know, anxieties to my life that I know I don't need. Mm. So, yeah, I like it the other way around. Yeah, you've linked the music in with the bigger picture of kind of severing some ties as well here, right? Yeah, I, if I can tie those two things together, that would be, that would be awesome because everything else tied to this old life and this, these, these groups and these crowds that just pull me down this negative road. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I don't see it being very helpful for very much longer, mm -hmm. you know, um, it wasn't a good way to, to deal with all this in the first place. But now that I'm kind of stuck into it, I really just had enough, you know. I'm really attracted to the positive right now. It's just a matter of the, you know, the stress behind it. I don't, you know, can I accomplish it? Can I do it? I hope so. You and said I, an eight to a nine. An eight I to a did. nine is a lot of confidence, yes. Peter. Yes. In terms of that, I'm pretty confident. So I'm feeling good. This is my personal and professional opinion, but I feel like you have good reason to feel good, and I feel like you're more than capable of making these changes. Okay, good. That's that's good to hear. That helps <laughs> yeah. because um, just in on my own, just thinking of my myself, there's still kind of those doubts, you know. Yeah. But hearing that voice, it's like. Just when you have those doubts, just remind yourself of all the things you told me, how your life would look. And how your life would feel when you put your music back into it and the differences. Right, it'd be better, mm -hmm. more positive. Remind yourself of those differences. Because it sounds like you already know exactly what you need. I do. You're pretty confident you can make the change. Yep. And all we're waiting for really is the plan. And you said you're ready to make those phone calls tomorrow. You have a couple options and a couple avenues. So it sounds like you're very ready to make your first steps. I'm, I'm totally, I'm totally ready. I am. It's true. It's just, uh, again, like I said, a nine, not a 10. A nine's good. Okay. Uh, a nine is very great. Yes. I will be very happy with a nine out of 10 okay. in life, right? So I should be happy with a nine. Okay. <laughs> you should be happy with yeah. a nine. And it's an easy start. Just I think, think yeah. when you said that your schooling was uh, such a, such a insurmountable task and you doubted yourself so much through that schooling, which we talked about earlier, how hard it was, how it wasn't always easy. You still accomplished that. And I, I bet if we would have spoken before you started that grade 11 year, you wouldn't have told me you were at a nine in confidence. Oh, no, definitely not. No. No, that was very, very challenging. So and just I knew it was going to be hard. Take a minute and think about what you can accomplish when you're at a nine in confidence. When I was not at a nine before, and I accomplished it. And you did it. So, yeah. that. Can you imagine at a um, nine? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be, like I said, if I can get those, get some good answers tomorrow on the phone, that'll be all I really need. Yeah. I'm confident. And then after that, it'll probably go to a 10 if I'm lucky. <laughs> you go. I'm confident you'll get the um, answers that you need, Peter. I really am. Awesome. I want to thank you for spending time with me today. Um, oh, no. Thank you. You've been very helpful. Oh. Thank you. You know where I'm located. If you ever feel the need to come back, you're more than welcome. I'd yes. love to have a chat with you again. Um, if not, that's okay too. Uh, but if you'd like to keep me posted. Yeah, maybe in a few weeks I'll let you know how the uh, music's coming. Yeah, that'd be wonderful. All right. Okay. Thank you for your time today, Peter. Well, you're very welcome. Thank you. Take care. You too.